Let us go to the next question. A 17 year old girl presents with emerge, to the emergency department with a stab wound to the abdomen in the anterior axillary line along the right costal margin. BP is 80-50, pulse is 120, respiratory rate is 28. That means patient is again going into the state of hypovolemic shock. Two large bore IV needles are done. A nasogastric and a 4 catheter is inserted. BP rises to 90-60. That means patient is responding after 2 liters of ringer lactate. Now, appropriate management for the following. Try to understand this is a penetrating injury to the abdomen and hence this is unstable patient. I will, I will only prefer to go for exploratory laparotomy. I will tell you the approach for this question also. Now, whenever we talk about abdominal trauma, whenever we talk about abdominal trauma, the concept is very simple and straightforward. You have to see what kind of injury it is, whether it is a blunt or whether it is a penetrating injury. Students, if it is a case of penetrating injury, if it is a case of penetrating injury, the next very simple concept that we have to see whether the patient is stable or whether the patient is unstable. If the patient is unstable, the very next thing that we need to go for is the con is the exploration. We don't waste time for anything. We go for exploratory laparotomy. Exploratory laparotomy. Now, on the other hand, on the other hand, if we have a stable status of the patient, what to do? You will go for a CCT. Remember, important things, important things. Penetrating injury with any of them. What do you mean by any of them? Point number one, evisceration, evisceration, the viscera protruding out, the weapon in, in toto or weapon in situ, that is impaled object. That means someone stabbed and left the weapon there only. So, impaled object evisceration what else is important what else is important evisceration impaled object bleeding via natural orifice bleeding via natural orifice now this is again very important bleeding via natural orifice yeah because someone has stabbed and the patient over the abdomen and patient is having bleeding pr that means there's a breach of gi tract that is why the blood is trickling down so breach is very important fourth is a patient with gunshot in all these case patients, you don't have to waste time for anything. You have to go for surgery irrespective of the status because time is more important than the scar. A negative laparotomy is justifiable if you have done with an intention to save the life of the patient. So irrespective of the uh, status, you are going to go for surgery. Now, on the other hand, if you had a blunt trauma patient, what to do in this patient? Again, you need to check whether the patient is stable. If the patient is stable, go for a CCT. If the patient is unstable, now the next thing is you will go for E-FAST. You will go for E-FAST. Remember, if E-FAST is positive, you will go for surgery. If E-FAST is negative, you will go for repeat E-FAST. Remember, when you go for repeat E-FAST, when is it done? This is done 30 to 45 minutes later. So, this is done 30 to 45 minutes later. And remember... If this E fast this time is positive, you go for surgery. Now remember, if E fast after E fast is negative, that means you are ruling out something from the retroperitoneal angle. So in this case, you are going to go now for serial PCV and hemoglobin monitoring. Serial PCV and hemoglobin monitoring. And remember, remember, if you see a decreasing trend, if it is decreasing, that means that there is an ongoing bleed. And yes. If it is decreasing, you will go for surgery. If it is not, then you will continue with the observation. This is the standard SOP of the management of abdominal trauma. So, the answer for this is D.